<clears throat> Good morning. Another hot ass day from Sakahit. Again, around 95, 99% humidity. Supposed to get rain next week. So, um, this will be the, the, the intro to the death attack section defensive tactics, combative, proactive, which can get a little bit blurred sometimes. But um, we're going to start out with the use of using the palms. And not so much palm strikes, per se, but as a way to create, create overwhelming forward pressure and put the uh, opponent on the defensive to set up for either heavier action or simply to escape and flee. And um, so for those of you that have done Wing Chun before, or JK Day, whatever that is, uh, this is something like a straight blast, but not really. Um, so I'm just going to give you some geometry to get a little thing going here. Okay, so you can see that. Okay. And you can see this. Okay, so we're going to get into some of that a little bit later, but uh, those are clearly triangular structures on, that I'm creating, and that will be used in a certain fashion. Um, so yeah, the first thing we'll do is uh, simply, like usual, start in a, a neutral or natural stance, <clears throat> and basically just from the fence. The fence actually is just having your hands up in some way that you can begin to negotiate or not with... Um, your perspective opponent. And um, there's different variations of this, but I like this one because it's it seems to be quite passive, but I still have a reference in front of me in regards to where the center is and where the outside gates are. Okay, so I, my hands are easily used to defend, to attack. All right, now, so, <clears throat> so the first thing we'll do is just take a look at the movement then. So. From this position, basically, all you're doing is, is like this, okay? Um, in sumo, most of the time, they're using this into the chest area, which can be done as well, especially when you're doing playful sparring. Uh, and, but just like the other lessons that I've given you so far, we're going to primarily deal with manipulating the computer first, okay? Or the upper body, let's say... Shoulders, shoulders in the front, shoulders, shoulders in the back, head in the front, head turning from on both sides, all right? And again, the idea is that um, we'll want to approach all of this with based on the three timing factors, which are before, during, and after the opponent's advancement or attack. Um, both are, all, all three are crucial. And not only that, if you're talking about defensive tactics in regards to legal um, impact factors and such, that if you defend yourself and you're taken to court, you'll need to be able to explain what you were thinking about before, during, and after the opponent's advancement or attack, and why you weren't able to flee prior, prior, <laughs> before, during, or after. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there's so much to it, you know, legal bullshit, see what I'm saying? Uh, combatives, again, basically, is you don't give a fuck, and you're fucking the dude up and, and leaving quickly, all right? All right, so that, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, so anyway, back to the, the thing. So I'm, I'm looking at about here, okay? So I'm doing my palm strikes here in relation to here. Now, if someone's my, if it's a person my own height, most people are taller than me, so a lot of the times it's going to be like this, all right? But uh, if it's someone that's your own height, again, it, Depends on what you're trying to get. Um, if you're trying to get the nose, you can still get above the nose to the forehead, under, um, here, 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 like this, on an upward level like that. All right, and this is just talking about the straight line. And we'll start out with one, two, threes, because again, we love the number three. All right, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, with stance turn. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Alrighty then. So um 
talk a little bit more about the palms, right? So you have straight palms, you have inverted palms, you have corkscrew palm, you have the open Y of the mouth palms into the hips and such, okay? Uh, and you have slapping forehand and backhand slaps. Okay, and again, you may get lucky and TKO or KO someone with these techniques, but again, uh, it's not how we're using them. It's just to create an overwhelming pressure in order to follow up with something heavy while staying covered pretty much and um, or to escape quickly, all right? So, so let's take a look at it sideways. Take a look at it sideways. Basically, I won't be in a closed or open stance. Well, you could call it open, but quite natural, okay? And if you, you will, what is a natural stance? It could be many different things. Left foot forward, right foot forward, kind of frontal like this, which is pretty rare, actually. Most people don't, don't stand just like that, but some fools do. But when we train on a neutral or, or natural stance this way, it's just for symmetry, so we can work both sides evenly, all right? It would never be really recommended that you stay that way, all right? So most people's natural stance is somewhat bladed, and some people go sideways. I don't really like that. Okay? It takes away my options. So from the fence here now, but basically all we're going to be doing is moving forward. One, two, three. Okay? And we, since we're here already, let's also move backwards. One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. 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 One, three. One, two, three. Okay, so another way of um uh stepping that is quite interesting that allows you to set up angles and it's very odd because as, as you well what I wanted to say actually was that you're not seeing me take full step throughs and stepping fully and turning fully on each movement that movement would be a bit too gross of a movement for us to want to use um, because of less chance of recovery if we miss, etc. All right. So we're keeping posture in regards to having our base underneath us. See what I'm getting at? All right. So let's talk about the crabby. The crabby is open. So even though I'm moving forward, I'm still keeping this same facing. Do the crabby this way. Even though the crabby keeps my same facing. See what I'm getting at? 